so today we are going to play with alcohol. Isopropyl alcohol, I usually use the 91%. Uh, breaks down acrylic polymer. So what we're gonna do today is drop it on top of wet acrylic. I've painted this side with the teal and this side is plain gesso. And we're gonna see how it reacts. We're going to lay over it with Quinacridone Nickel Azo Gold. This is very transparent, so we should really get a good effect. Now, if your paint isn't transparent, what I have discovered is acrylic glazing liquid, when mixed with your paint, will really do a fabulous job of giving you that transparency, especially when you're trying to do a technique like this. I'm waiting for my blue to dry, and as soon as it does, we'll get going. So just so you know, I am now doing tiny tips on Tuesdays. So on Tuesday, you come here for a nice short little video um, where I show a mixed media technique like the, like the alcohol. They call it alcohol dissolve. And then on Thursdays, I will do long form content that will include jelly, plate printing, uh, collage techniques, fabric mosaic, all of that kind of stuff. So I hope you will consider subscribing to my channel or give me a thumbs up, whatever you feel comfortable with. Okay, so now we're laying over the quinacridone nickel azo gold. Very pretty color. And while it is still wet, I use my eyedropper with alcohol in it to drop the alcohol on top of the wet paint. So as you can see, you could actually drizzle it on with your eyedropper and make Try to go over this section again. So part of the reason why this works so good is because of that transparency. Now if you'll see on the, this golden does this, they put a little bit, a little swash of paint over these black bars so you can really see how transparent that is compared to the teal, where you can, you can still see them a little bit, but this is gonna go on more evenly, less streaks. But I, this particular color, it went on pretty evenly. I think it, you know, it doesn't look streaky. It's, be it's a beautiful color, absolutely beautiful color. It's becoming one of my favorites. Bring it up to the camera so you can see a little bit more of the detail. Now, I, of course, I love the color on the white because it's such a beautiful color. I really love that color. But I also love how it's letting that teal show through. Uh, where I dragged the dropper over, it didn't really, it does, didn't really work on the, on the painted side, but it did work in a subtle sort of beautiful way on the uh, against the just the gesso. So this is a technique you should definitely play with. It's a lot of fun. It's unexpected. You don't know what's going to happen. You just never know. You think you've got it all planned, <laughs> but you just don't know. And if you make a mistake and it's on like a, a section of a painting, then um, just paint over it and, do, and try it again. Uh, that's the nice thing about acrylic. It's very forgiving. You can just start over. So that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this technique. I'm sure you've seen it before. Maybe you wondered how did they do that. If uh, you want to leave me a comment below and let me know what you'd like me to cover in the future, I can use the ideas. <laughs> Thank you. See you again. Bye-bye.